cataractcoach.com. Father versus son challenge. Who wins? We're going to show you a video today of the father operating. Tomorrow, the son is operating. So this surgeon is very experienced. Tens of thousands of cases. Surgeon is somewhere around, let's say, age 60 to 65. And then making a paracentesis there. It looks like another incision at the bottom of your screen here. And maybe another paracentesis. So three little incisions to begin with. And looks like a pretty routine type cataract. Obviously good dilation, beautifully draped. And inserting, looks like an, an AC maintainer. So putting an anterior chain maintainer in that um, inferior incision there. Holding the eye with forceps here in the left hand. And now it looks like a cystitome to start or create the rexus. So now, so that tiny incision, you can use that cystitome. And so look, no viscoelastic. So doing this under BSS. So getting that capsule rexus done with just the cystitome. And again, this is a very experienced surgeon. Tens of thousands of cases of experience. And again, this surgeon is probably 30 years or so into his career. Tomorrow's video, we're going to show you the son. The son is less experienced, a younger surgeon. Let's say maybe around age 30 or so. And maybe the son has done uh, about 500 cataracts. So we'll watch today and watch tomorrow. And you tell me what you like better. So now again, with the AC maintainer here, doing a little hydro dissection. There you go. There's some hydro dissection. And then nucleus spins just like that. So this is a very efficient case. I've not sped the video up at all. And you can see it's just about a five-minute case. Interestingly, tomorrow the sun's case is also just about five minutes, but done entirely differently. So perhaps it's a generational difference. I want you to tell me what you like better. So now enlarging that one paracentesis with a keratome. And oh, a little nick here of the conjunctiva as well. Maybe that's to prevent some chemosis. And let's see the technique here. So coming in with the phaco probe here in the right hand. And then let's see, phaco probe going in. And then the left hand is going to be probably a chopper. There you go, a chopper. Looks like a ball tip chopper. So maybe horizontal chop technique here. Cleaning up some anterior lens material, anterior cortex. That nucleus definitely spins pretty well. Oh, you look, there you go, Rosatelli type spin. That spins very well. That helps loosen up your cortex. And now let's see the technique for phaco. For nucleofractus, let's see how the nucleus is being divided. So chopper going around the capsular bag, or inside the capsular bag, around the lens equator. Nice horizontal chop there. Let's rotate this around a little bit more. Chopper again around the lens equator, under the capsular rim. Beautiful chop. You now have two quadrants. And now let's see, bringing up uh, the pieces. A little bit more chopping, maybe another chop here to split that hemi-nucleus. And then once you've got the small pieces, time to remove them. So very nice technique here, good chopping. Obviously a very experienced surgeon. You can see the eyes in primary. Surgeon's moving in the eye very adeptly. Well, kind of like watching a ballet here. Now you may have noticed there's no viscoelastic. So in this case, there was no viscoelastic used at all. So to do phaco, surgeon staying away from the corneal endothelium, operating deeper in the bag. And that comes, the pieces of the nucleus are coming out pretty easily. And then here comes the epinuclear shell, and that's going to come up. And teasing that up and getting that flipped up in the anterior segment, uh-huh. Looks pretty good. But yeah, interesting case. So AC maintainer being used to keep the eye inflated. And that was especially important during uh, capsulexis creation, which was done with just a cystitome through a side port. And there you go, cleaned up. Really no cortex to do. Capsular bag looks pretty clean. And so now it's going to be hydro implantation, right? So the AC in the bag already filled with that AC maintainer. And here comes the lens. Looks like a single piece acrylic lens. Getting that dialed into the capsular bag. Nice and easy. And then make sure that goes completely in the bag. And now again, using that AC maintainer, there's no viscoelastic. This is hydro implantation of the lens. So the entire case had no viscoelastic use. Now, there are pros and cons to everything. And this is obviously surgeon preference and a very experienced surgeon. So that's fine. And so let's see, sealing up the incision here, a little bit of hydration. There's some hydration of that incision. And then probably push that lens in the capsular bag a little bit more. And so now hydrating that extra incision for the AC maintainer. And then finally hydrating up that paracentesis. And there you go, you got a lens in the bag and a little more hydration perhaps, get the pressure normal. Once the pressure's normalized, there you go, a lens is nicely centered, looks pretty good. And let's see the last bit here, using the BSS, maybe injecting a little more, getting the pressure just dialed in right. A little more hydration, get that lens again beautifully centered. 
It's a very routine case. I'm sure the patient had a very, very nice visual outcome. Last thing here, maybe a little hydration of the conch. All right, what do you think? Comment below.